Hi guys and welcome back to another uh, Fullback Carter video. This is round nine uh, in, in the Fullback Sprint series, time to qualify. As you can see, I'm having a bit of a problem with my engine, uh, which obviously didn't help me get away. And I retry it, but again, just stalls. It isn't very good. But eventually, I get going. Eventually. There we go. And the lack of throttle response that I had um, cost me at least two seconds um, a lap. Uh, but yeah, as you can, we eventually got that fixed. You can see we cut onto the end of the last lap, which is, was my fastest, I believe. And as you can see, we got 50.4, which is 3.1 seconds off uh, P7 the points is um, like your position converted into the amount of points you get except for the winner or pole position uh, they get zero but then second place is two third place is three etc etc um, and after all three uh, TQ and the Heat 1 and 2 um, your points is tied up whoever has the least like, um, starts higher up and then you know so as you can see this is um, Heat 1 um, we just got to the last couple of laps to see where everyone finishes uh, with what time and um, whew, wow as you can see in the bottom right I got a 47.7 which is my PB by 3 tenths I believe a 48 at second lap I set in March uh, this year um, so yeah very good lap and I was very proud of myself after this session I was buzzing in the car honestly and uh, as I said earlier, the little thing with the acceleration is fixed by getting a new spark plug. Um, I believe that's what fixed it anyways. And, whew, nice, another 47.7, uh, back to back. Um, not much difference in between them at all. Um, shows obviously the first one wasn't a fluke. Um, or at least... <laughs> Well, I just got two fluids in a row, but that's obviously not very likely. Uh, so yeah, very good session this, and I was very proud of myself after. Nice, and the third 47, a 47.9 on the last lap, so obviously as you can see a 47.7. Uh, so in heat 2 we've just cut to my best lap, um, uh, unfortunately Charlie uh, DNF'd on lap 1 I believe, I think someone crashed into him going into this corner here. Um, this one here, and um, second bus stop. Uh, so that's quite unfortunate. So it means I'm in P7 uh, as of this lap. Um, obviously, then P8. A 47.9 uh, into the 47s again. And this is on the last lap or second last lap. You might just be able to see Miles there. He is he's gone off. I think I I think I heard people say his tires or rear axle snapped uh, and came off, so uh, very unfortunate for him. 
Uh, I had to cut through the chicane there. I, I honestly didn't understand what was going on. Um, so, it was a little bit confusing for me. Um, drag the penalty, try to to stop and whatnot. Um, so yeah, P6. Um, obviously, unfortunate for both Charlie and Miles, but uh, it's just what happens in racing sometimes. Uh, as for my points, I got an 8, an 8, and a 6. Um, so 22 points. Um, as you can see there. Uh, just one point behind Miles. So, yeah, I'm starting in 8th. Um, so, unfortunately, Phoebe span, uh, and Charlie did too. So, um, by the end of the lap, there's a lot of confusion with where everyone should be um, by the, where we just passed Marshall Post 5. Uh, wherever you're at by then is where you start, but because of everything else that happened, uh, there was a false start. You can see there, uh, in the top left, false start flag. So uh, we redid it again, um, but on the next one, um, everyone was out of their tram lines, so we had another false start. by the next one. Uh, I also use this tactic where you pinch the fuel line so then when you let go of it it like, gives you a boost of energy. But for some reason even though everyone was out of their tram lines again uh, it didn't, it wasn't a false start but I'm not sure why that happened. Um, but yeah so as you can see uh, I nearly, oh you can't really see it because it's on the other side. But I nearly got um, miles on the start But yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, definitely getting better at the race starts. Uh, so yeah, that's good. And um, yeah, as I said, nearly got miles. Uh, the gap already, unfortunately, is quite big uh, from me to the rest of the pack. But that's just what happens in the early days of my karting. Uh, for some reason it says that I've gone down a place, but I'm not sure why I said that. So as you can see there, Miles has spanned and hit, hit the wall. Uh, so I'm just moving me back up to P7, um, which is <laughs> quite good. Uh, so as you can see there, Miles is uh, four point two seconds behind me. Uh, and also Oliver has had a little bit of an incident, or I, I don't, I'm not sure quite what happened to him. Obviously he's right there now, uh, looking for a way to pass uh, into the chicane. But obviously, as you can see, can't do it just yet. Oops. I believe after his spin or crash or whatever, um, he made just have had a knock the confidence or a bit of damage uh, with slowing down for a couple laps which may or may not have slowed me down and um, which helped Miles catch up to me uh, so now the gap is uh, 2.1 seconds uh, so he's going about a second on that lap So as you can see, he's obviously pulling away a little bit now. So I'm not right behind him. And 
under. For now, the gap is just under two seconds. So he's getting maybe half a tenth, uh, half a second. Sorry. Now the gap is uh, seven tenths. <laughs> it's gained about one and a half seconds now, so he should be right behind me. Um, so the little blue bars you can see uh, on the timing screen is just whereabouts um, people are on the lap. So we're literally right next to each other. Um, you may be able to see him a couple times too. I feel like I'll take a really good line and uh, break a, a, good, a good, good time through the boot section there, so it's not easy for him to get me there. And we're literally, we were literally right next to the piss we crossed the line. Also, occasionally I'll like see his shadow like, of his car a couple of times, maybe. As you can see there, I, you can actually see him in front of me there, but I managed to just break it late enough and get back past him. Um, so, quite good defense, uh, defense from me, I'd, I'd say. Managed to keep him behind. He's also like a, a second a lot quicker in the normal circumstances uh, most of the time. And obviously unless he has a mistake or whatnot. So yeah, um, I'm just about managing to keep him behind. And each lap will probably be right next to the as we cross the line. And you can see him there now, nearly got me into the second chicane. I managed to keep him behind through the quick back under there. And again, nah, it's not it's not easy to get me through the boot. And I feel like I take a good line through there. And once again, we cross the line at almost the same time. So it was like that for the next five laps from lap eight to the end of lap 12, and this is lap 12. Uh, the last lap, um, it was like pretty much a photo finish across the line, like a tenth between us, but less than a tenth. Uh, obviously, as you can see, he got me going into the first corner, but obviously that was after the last lap. Um, so. Great race, P7, just about managed to keep him behind. Um, and yeah, very happy. And thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.